Okay, so we're now going to pull down the same file that we uploaded to the user's Dropbox account, and we're going to store it back in this files directory. What I'm going to do is then delete the one local to the folder I'm working in, just so we don't have it there anymore. And we're going to pull this down and put it back into files. And again, this is extremely straightforward. If we open up the client, we actually have a method here called get file and it takes a path which is going to be the path to the image in the user's drop or not the image but the file in the user's dropbox the out stream is the same as the in stream it's just where you want to save the file so this time we reverse it and we do an f open but we write rather than read so let's go ahead and do this now then again we're going to use client and it's get file we need to provide the remote path to the file which remember is photo.jpg and then we want to choose the local uh, file that we want to save it to so we f open files photo.jpg again you can name this anything you want to pull it in with uh, or pull it into as the name but this time we want to write instead so let's look at what this does let's refresh again and there we go. So if we head over, you can see that that photo from the remote uh, Dropbox folder has been pulled down to our local uh, directory. And that is how easy it is to pull files down from your user's Dropbox folder.